In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Roblox graphics glitch. So, why this happens can be various reasons, okay? And I'm not gonna cover these in this video, I'm just gonna try and help you out so you don't get that anymore. Now, the first thing you can do is close down your Roblox game and then open up Roblox Studio, which should be installed on your computer automatically if you have Roblox. Then, once you open it, You'll have to log in and it will look something like this on my screen right now, as you can see. What you want to do is then click on File up here at the very top left. And then you want to click Studio Settings, okay, down here at the bottom. And then once this opens up, what you want to do is down here at the bottom where it says Reset All Settings, you want to click this button, okay? This will reset all your settings for the Roblox game. And once you press this, you want to click Restart or Restart Later, whatever you want. But I would simply recommend pressing Restart, and this will restart your studio. And then once it's restarted, you can simply close it down and try playing the game and see if it works now. Now, if that didn't fix your issue, I'm going to show you a second thing that you can do. And that is to see if you have the correct DirectX uh, kind of installed on your computer, okay? And the way you do this is you have to press Windows and R on your keyboard together, which will open up this Run dialog here in your Windows computer. Then you want to type in DXDIAG, just like I have over here on my uh, screen, as you can see. And then you want to press OK. Over here, it will display the diagnostics. So the DirectX Diagnostics tool. What you then want to do is click Display 1, Display 2, and Render. Or if you only have one display, it will only say Display and Render. So click the first display. And what you want to look for is the Feature Levels. Okay. Now, over here where it says Feature Levels, if you do not see 10 or anything above 10 over here, you might have an issue and the only uh, possible thing you can do is replace your graphics card or maybe update drivers or something like this and this could fix your issue. However, if you see um, lower than a number 10 over here, so if it's, let's say, as you can see, there's different versions separated by commas, if there's no 12 or 11 or 10s or there's, for example, only 9s and 8s or something like this, you may have a problem and your graphics card may not support the game, okay? So check this for each and every single one. So for display, display 2, and then for the render, as you can see, it's pretty much the same, and it should be around the same for you as well. Now, you can also check the direct 3D DDI, okay, which is the DDI version. Now, if it says 12, 11, or 10, you should be fine with all three of those. But if it says anything below 10, yet again, you might have a problem, and your graphics card may not support it, okay? Now... That's the second thing you can do, okay? The next thing you can do is we are going to open up our uh, device manager. You want to click down here in search box, taskbar, device manager. You want to click this. And then when this opens up, as you can see, what you want to do is go under display adapters over here. And you want to look for which graphics card you have, okay? So you may have an NVIDIA or a Radeon graphics card from AMD. So any which, which of these you have, uh, you may want to update your drivers. And the way you do this is very easy. Now, if you have an Intel graphics card, you want to go to their website and download the latest driver, which is a bit more tricky because most of the time those are integrated graphics cards and you probably won't be able to update it because it's usually updated the latest version once you get the computer. However, if you have AMD or NVIDIA, just like me, uh, for AMD, you can download this AMD Adrenaline, okay? So AMD Software, Adrenaline Edition, and easily update uh, via the app, okay? Or uh, if you have, as I showed you, the NVIDIA graphics card, you want to download GeForce Experience, which will allow you to easily update drivers in there, okay? So that's what you have to do. Now, if that didn't help, and you're still getting those glitches, even though you already successfully updated your graphics card drivers, there's one more thing we can do, okay? And this is, once you are uh, over here, you want to look for uh, where you have your Roblox game installed, okay? Now, it's gonna, uh, we're going to type in Roblox, 
over here and you don't want the Roblox Studio, but the Roblox player, okay? Now you wanna right click on this and if you don't see the properties tab, okay? You wanna click open file location and this will open up where the file location for your Roblox player is, okay? You then wanna right click and click properties. Now in here, you wanna go inside compatibility over here and then what you wanna do is select this tab which says compatibility mode, run this program in compatibility mode four, and then you can check all of these, okay? But usually the Windows 8 is the one that works, okay? So keep that in mind, press Windows 8, and then also you can check run this program as administrator if you want to, uh, this usually helps, and you can also check this, disable full screen optimizations, okay? Then you wanna click apply and okay, and try running your Roblox uh, app, a Roblox game through this over here, okay? Simply double click it and open it up and you'll see if the glitch still persists. Now, if it doesn't, you can do the same for your uh, desktop shortcut. So if you have a shortcut for the Roblox player on your desktop, simply right click on your icon, click properties and do the same as we just did inside compatibility, okay? So that's pretty much it. Those are all the possible fixes that were listed officially by Roblox developers themselves and on some different websites. So I hope this video helped you out and your issue was saved. And if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.